Hello, this is Dave Briner from Centers of Technologies. Today I'd like to bring you a little tidbit from Fusion 360. A few weeks ago, the Fusion development team uh, introduced a Ben feature in their sheet metal package. And uh, I think it's pretty interesting. Uh, I thought it'd be great to just go through a little review of some of its capabilities. So let's get started. Now, first of all, um, let's just, I'm just going to start a sketch and I am, um, I am in, um, oh, well, the first thing I wanted to bring up, it cannot be an extrusion of a solid. So, um, that's going to be one of the first problems right there. You must be in the sheet metal package and you must create a flange or whatever used to be known as a face. So let's just uh, quickly, I'm just going to start a sketch and I uh, apologize, I'm not going to be putting dimensions and uh, constraining. I just want to go through some of the basic features. So so I just have um, a basic sketch and let me uh, let me put a few things on it. Uh, I'll put a, uh, let's try a couple lines. And um, I put a circle here in the middle, and let's just put a line through that someplace. Um, there we go. Just uh, a shape with um, a couple of lines on it. Now, one of the key things about this, if you finish this sketch, I am going to um, I'm going to use the flange. Um, command here and uh, I'm gonna choose the regions that I want to extrude now here's one of the the key things so I have a sketch on here and you're gonna see quickly if I can zoom in you're gonna see that is uh, it's kind of extruding uh, side one that's going to be coming towards me I guess what I want is um, to make it a little bit easier is going to be I'm going to choose side two. I want it to go away. Uh, the reason being, and I'll just stay with the 16 gauge. Uh, the reason being is I want to sketch on the face that I am going uh, nearest to me. So if you look, I have this ske sketch now is on the top side of this. If I would try to use this bend feature on this face over here, it wouldn't bend. So I can now, uh, just uh, as a demonstration, I'm going to go to the Create panel and use the Bend. And you're going to see right away that it's not really selecting anything. It won't let me select anything. So um, your selection has to be on the sketch side. So why that causes confusion if you want to bend this a particular way, just make sure that your sketch uh, is active on the side that you're going to perform the bends. So again, uh, under the Create panel, uh, here is uh, the new bend feature. Now, the other thing is, uh, it's going to ask you to choose um, a face. And I'm just going to select the stationary side. And even though I select uh, in this region right here, it kind of knows where you are. It's not, I mean, it will bend a little bit, but it's, um, I always try to get close to uh, the stationary side, close to what my bend's going to be. So you're going to see that I chose that region, and it's bending up. I can manipulate that like any other bend. I can manipulate it manually. I can have it bend up or down, and I can enter a bend angle uh, anyway, you know, as a normal normal way to do it. So. Uh, I did one. Now it's not going to let me produce another one. I'm going to have to say OK. And I'm going to have to re-enter the command. So I can say bend. Now typically I like to go from the outside in or do some of the bigger bends first. So I'll just, uh, you're going to see stationary side. I'm going to select this face. It automatically jumps to the bend line. I'm going to come down and select. You're going to see that it's going to, I'm not, it's on the line, but it's actually selecting that region all right and uh, you know maybe I'll I'll make this one 90 degrees right. so okay 
Now, <clears throat> I like my, uh, I use the S key for my toolbox, all right, um, and I already have it on there. So here's, here's the bend, and again, all I did was uh, type in a couple letters. You're going to see I got my bend feature, and I can just pop that up into my, um, my toolbox. So I'll select that. And uh, let's start with, let's continue on with this one down here. And I'm going to flip that one back up. I'll say OK. Go to the toolbox, bend. Now, this is the one that I wanted to test because I wasn't sure how this one would react. And um, luckily, it did react the way I expected. I'm going to select this face and I'm going to come in and there you go. And it did it. it um, it took the line right across the circle and that's all it is so it, it um, it's a nice feature it works well and uh, I like how it behaves so you can see how this is gonna maybe uh, provide a lot of use so once again it's under the create panel and it's the bend feature so uh, one other thing I wanted to go through and show you here is um, some time ago I created uh, this bracket all right, so I have all the holes on it. But one of the other features with this, and it works with this bend feature, and it works really well, is, well, what if I have an AutoCAD drawing or, or a sketch or uh, something of this flat pattern? So, um, so uh, let me go into the sheet metal, and I'm going to select. So what I can do is I'll create a flat pattern out of this. And um, now what I did is I just took this flat pattern and I exported out to a DXF. So I just went to export and I created a DXF flat pattern. So I have that. And um, here's, here's a picture of it. I just brought it into uh, one of my basic drawings and I just plopped the flat pattern into it. So, you know, what can I do with that? Uh, what if one of my uh, coworkers has a... Uh, a flat pattern that I want to utilize or maybe one exists uh, in AutoCAD I can create a DXF of it so let's start from scratch I am going to go uh, to sheet metal and I'm going to start a sketch I'll choose a face and if I go to insert I can insert a DXF so um, I'm already on it so I'm just gonna select uh, I already have my plane and here's that solenoid bracket flat pattern that I just showed you. I created this, uh, uh, let me uh, bring this up a little bit. I created this uh, yesterday, I think. So let me um, open that. You're gonna see right away, it brings it in very nicely. I can reposition that if I want. I'll leave it at the origin on the corner. That's gonna work just fine for me. Now, the other thing is, you can see I've got a, I've, I've got too many lines in there. I've got my bend extents, so I can I can turn those off. That works great. I can turn the bend lines off if I want, but certainly in this uh, exercise, I want to utilize those. And uh, I can turn other um, layers off. So I want internal profiles or whatever, um, but I'll leave everything except for the bend extents. And every, all the settings look great. I'm just going to say OK. And um, I'll finish the sketch. So here I have. Um, DXF flat pattern of of uh, this the bracket that I just showed you. So let's go through, and uh, again it has to be in sheet metal, and I am there. So let's create um, a face or a flange, if you will. So I'll go to my uh, flange command, and I am going to start choosing uh, regions. So I'll select this one, and the nice thing is uh, I love the region select right here. You can see it's already choosing. Um, it's not choosing the holes and some of the cutouts so I'm going to go through and select all the regions that I want and get this last one and I'll leave it at 16 gauge and uh, now here's what I had talked about is I have it on side one what that means is it took the sketch and it's extruding towards me alright so I don't want that I want it to go away so the sketch is on top uh, you can see it's kind of hard to see but you can see right there that it's, it's extruding out towards me I want the sketch on top so I'm going to extrude it away 
now the sketch is on top of my flange all right so I'm going to say okay all right so and you may say well what happened well norm and normal operation um, the sketch has been consumed so I'm going to just go and turn that sketch back on so there are my lines all right uh, once again uh, create panel uh, the bend feature and uh, I'm just going to select the stationary side so I'm going to start with uh, some of the smaller things uh, I guess right now it really doesn't matter what order uh, let me choose um, this one and I'm going to select this bend now that one I want to bend away from me so I'm going to flip that all my bends are going to be 90 degrees uh, that one looks good and I'll say okay all the rest of the bends are going to be bent up and in so let me go to my toolbox I'm going to select bend I'm going to select this face and that bend and that one I want to switch up that's good excellent and uh, S key and my toolbox go to the bend I will select this face and this bend there that looks great and I'll say OK S key and I'm going to select this one and bend this up it's OK and my last one I'm going to select this face and that bend and I'll say OK and there I have it alright so that pretty much matches uh, let me go back to my flat pattern there we go so this pretty much matches the bracket that I 2D'd out and it looks great um, that worked fantastic uh, saved me a lot of time having to produce that sketch um, and uh, produce um, a flat pattern you know get that DXF so that saved me a lot and uh, I produced that bracket quick and easy so that's what I want to show you today this works um, this works great it's uh, I think it's a great addition to the sheet metal package uh, the bend feature so give it a try um, hope it works well for you uh, let me know what you think uh, leave a comment down below uh, thumbs up thumbs down or uh, leave a comment uh, what you what you thought and uh, if you have any other ideas or um, any uh, anything you'd like to see uh, demoed or presented let me know All right. again this is uh, Dave Briner from Synergist Technologies uh, thank you for joining me have yourself a great day